Welcome back everyone to the Hello World Guy and this is the second episode of our Asteroids game series and if you remember in the last video we implemented the basic empty window and set up the basic SFML stuff and we did not have anything in particular implemented. So in this video we are gonna start by implementing our player. So for this video we will focus on the actual graphics or drawing part of the player so for that we are gonna go ahead and create a class called player. I'm gonna implement it here just for uh, keeping it simple uh, we can separate it into a different file later on uh, for public variables it's going to have an sf vector 2f and if you don't know how sfml types work you should probably watch the beginner series it's basically like a vector like most mathematical vectors and we will also have a float called angle to represent what direction the face, uh, player is facing now we will have a public method called draw which will take a reference remember that this and ampersand sign this means the reference to a win rendered window called window and this will allow us to draw to that particular window and in here we will do go down under our main function where we are supposed to be drawing our stuff we will first create a player outside the loop in the main function called player and we will draw it here and yeah that's that's pretty awesome and we will pass in the window for drawing alright that's pretty cool so in the actual draw function uh, before we actually implement that we are going to implement a player constructor which is going to set our position and angle to default values and currently it does nothing. Now for actually rendering the player since our player is going to be a shape which is going to be an arrow shape and we are not going to actually draw an arrow shape using PNG graphics but instead what we are going to do is we are going to use vector graphics and vertexes, uh, vertices to actually draw that using vertex arrays in SFML. So for this I am going to go under private and create an SF vertex array called array and we are going to initialize it uh, uh, to there are a bunch of different overloaded constructors but the one that we care about the most is the one that allows us to specify the primitive type which is going to be quartz uh, and the reason for that is because the arrow is generally have four points which is why we are going to specify it as a quad and also four for the actual amount of vertices you can also change this to polygons as a polygons if you like and for the actual vertices we'll specify our vertices uh, like that so I'm going to just specify the vertices to make them kind of occupy the points correctly so uh, uh, I'll just set these real quick and what this does is that uh, uh, actually first of all let's see this so we have got like the co point at here uh, at the corner and then we have got the point at the top and then we have got the point here uh, and the uh, bottom uh, right actually right yeah bottom right corner and then we have got the middle point which is a slightly higher to give it the shape of an arrow it is a concave shape by the way so we need to use a vertex array cannot use this convex shape class and we are going to set the position of these array elements because this is a vertex uh, vertex not a vector which has got a position and a color and a bunch of different stuff so we're going to set it to be position now we are going to loop over uh, our array dot uh, get vertex count so as many vertices we have gone we are going to set that each for for each of those vertices we are going to set the color to be sf color white and once we have got that then we can say that we have actually uh, basically created a white player now inside of the drawing method we are going to create a transform called transform to in order to actually make our position and angle uh, be effective we are going to create that transform then we are going to say transform dot translate position and then dot rotate uh, angle and this translate will just return the same transform so we can say uh, translate position and then rotate according to the angle and uh, that is going to allow us to make sure that our uh, vertex array is positioned and scaled uh, and rotated correctly and then we are going to say window dot draw with the actual array and then we are also going to pass the transform as a second optional argument and by the way this uh, positioning that i've got it uh, actually might not make it render correctly so i'm going to rearrange these vertices and uh, you can see that this is how we're supposed to arrange it first the top vertex then the bottom left vertex then the middle vertex and then the bottom right vertex and uh, we are going to make also make the position 500 by 500 let's also give it an angle of 45 and if i run this what you should see is that we get what we were looking for so yeah you can see that we do indeed get our player where it's supposed to be and that is all pretty uh, awesome however currently our player is too large so let's uh, make it smaller let's change this to 40 this to 40 as well and we are going to basically every change everything to kind of 40 proportional to 40 this is going to be 20 and this is going to be 40 and this is also going to be 40 let's run that and this is going to be kind of more appropriate size for our game 
let's try that out yeah that that looks pretty good uh, I think it could be a bit even smaller but let's just keep it at that or perhaps let's make it 30 uh, you can of course play around with the size and choose whatever uh, values you like because it's uh, completely up to you and we are going to set this and this one we are going to set to 15 now let's go ahead and track that out and this should and you can you can actually apply the scaling here as well in the transform but i'm going to apply it in the vertex array to prevent the unnecessary thing and yeah we have got our player at the correct position and it's facing a direction correctly so yeah guys this is pretty much it for this video in this video we created a player class and uh, implemented drawing for our player and stay tuned for the next video in which we are going to start implementing the logic for our player movement and stuff so stay tuned for that i'll see you in the next one make sure to like and subscribe as well so you don't miss the next video and i'll see you in the next one and bye